Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Feeling more like autumn today, and that's going to be the theme here for the next uh, week, even though temperatures are going to be warming some. No sign of hot and humid air like we dealt with through several of the first days here of uh, September. Not to say that we're not going to have another hot and humid day. It's just not going to be over the next one to likely two weeks. But today the temperatures were really down because of the cloud cover. Highs generally in the mid to upper 70s. We had a few sprinkles around mixing with a little bit of sunshine, and we're just going to see a very slow warming trend with a little bit more in the way of sunshine uh, each day. But this evening it is quiet. First warning Doppler is dry and other than a sprinkle or two the next two days our next chance of significant rain won't be in here until Tuesday and even then it's a fairly slight chance. So we are into a pretty warm or I should say pretty dry pattern which is not unusual for September. Our Heads Construction Tower camera looking down on the Highway 41 strip in Henderson. Downtown Evansville our Superior Ag Tower camera under a partly cloudy sky with the temperature already down to 69. Now the dew point's at 63, so it's lower than yesterday, but it's still high enough that you notice the humidity, but it is tolerable, and that's going to be the case here for the next few days. Temperatures about 65 to 70, but with that slightly higher humidity, uh, relatively speaking to uh, the cool air, uh, temperatures overnight will drop into the low to mid 60s, just a little bit cooler than it was last night. So all quiet here in the tri-state. Meanwhile, in the Atlantic. Hurricane Lee has just been upgraded to a Category 5 storm. You can see the well-defined eye there, and this storm has been really intensifying rapidly over the past 24 hours. It's still way out here in the central Atlantic, but moving to the west-northwest. The latest fix from the Hurricane Center has the winds up to 160 miles per hour, and they're forecasting it to peak at around 180 miles per hour tomorrow. It's over very warm water out there, and if it hits 180, it will tie two other hurricanes for the strongest hurricanes on record in the Atlantic Basin. You can see the Cat 5 status there. Now, it looks like it may weaken a little bit as it gets closer to the Caribbean, but passing north of Puerto Rico and staying to the east of the Bahamas. And Tuesday night, winds still at 130 miles per hour moving towards the U.S., but the latest guidance continues to turn Lee away from the U.S., and hopefully it attracts somewhere between the East Coast and Bermuda. But if that turn gets delayed any, then big issues, big problems come into play for our, the East Coast of the U.S. later next week. So we'll continue to watch Lee closely. Back here at home, just watching some scattered clouds out there. And we'll have them around again tomorrow. That They could produce a sprinkle or two, but I think in general tomorrow will be a little bit brighter than today, which will boost the temperatures up a bit. Highs generally in the upper 70s to around 80, forecasting 78 to 80 in the Evansville metro. Maybe a little cooler up here in our uh, northeastern counties where the clouds may be a little bit thicker. Great night for week four of home team Friday will be falling into the 60s during the games and by daybreak Saturday right around 60 degrees and Saturday it will be a little bit brighter with a mix of sun and clouds but again a sprinkle here and there can't be ruled out highs about 75 to 80 degrees if you're looking for warmer temperatures sunnier skies Sunday will be the day with some clouds in the morning giving way to mostly sunny skies and highs on Sunday afternoon topping out between 80 and 85 but still not too humid so overnight tonight partly cloudy low to mid 60s. Tomorrow we're looking at a mix of sun and clouds, maybe a sprinkle or two, a little bit brighter than today with mild highs of 73 to the northeast, 80 off to the southwest. We're kind of in the same ballpark Saturday, maybe a little sunnier, 79 for the high, 82 on Sunday as we turn mostly sunny, 84 Monday as we get temperatures back to normal, and then the next cold front comes through on Tuesday. It's just going to produce a few showers and thunder showers, but it will deliver a reinforcing shot of autumn-like air for the latter half of next week with high temperatures back into the mid-70s. All right. Thank you, Wayne. Well,